hello guys welcome back to my channel this is joshua matthew if you are old yet thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a campaign poster using adobe photoshop so without any further ado let's get started go to your file then you select new then here click on the print select a3 paper size then change it to inches so this is our working background now then draw a cycle hold your shift key to draw a perfect cycle Then go to your test document to copy this color code. Double click on your layer, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then duplicate it, Ctrl plus J, or you drag it over there. Reduce the size. Then come over here to copy this color code. Then Ctrl plus V to paste and drag it at the top here. Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Then bring this one around here. Reduce the size. Then change the color to white. I'm going to take it over here. All right. Duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J, drag it up, then drag it down, increase the size, position it this way. Okay. Then reduce this one. It's okay. Then over here, I'm going to import this image. So for this tutorial, I'm going to use this image. So disclaimer, this image is for tutorial purpose. Then, and if you want to design something like this, please make sure that you use a high resolution image. Unlike this one that you see somehow blur. Okay. And then in this tutorial, I'm going to use only this image. So you can have more than one image in your own tutorial. Then duplicate this one, then drag it up here and reduce the size. Position it around here. Over here, I'm going to turn off the fill color and the apply stroke color. Increase the size by 5%. Then I use this dash dash over there. Then zoom in to see the outcome. Then I'm going to select the layer, go back to my stroke, then increase the size by 6%. Now I'm going to duplicate this one, the one I select over there, then drag it up, reduce the size, position it at the center, it's okay. Then I'm going to apply a fake color by copying this color over here, reduce the opacity, 
something like this. Then reposition it around here. So you can position it anywhere you want. Now I'm going to position this one. It's okay like this. Then go back to your resource file and I'm going to import this shape here. Then reduce the opacity. You can download this resource file from Google Play. So it depends what you want to do. Then I'm going to draw a rent angle line here. And I'm going to apply this color here. So now what I'm going to do now is to copy my test. The control plus C to copy. Control plus V to paste. Then increase the font size. So I'm going to leave the name of this font in the description because I'm not going to upload the resource file in this tutorial. So if you have any campaign poster to design, then your client will give you the information you need or if you want to practice this, please kindly download any image from Google and make use of it. Then reposition it. Then over here, I'm going to copy this test here. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then go to your resource file. And I'm going to import this logo over here. Reduce the size. Then position it somewhere around here. It's okay like this. Then you can also make any adjustment you want to it. But I'm going to leave it like this. Then apply a drop shadow just a little, not much. Then I'm going to leave the distance and the spread by 0% and the size 24%. The opacity here is 67%. Now, Ctrl plus V to paste your test, and I'm going to change the color to red. Increase the font size. Duplicate it, Ctrl plus J. Use your arrow key then to move it up. Then I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy. Highlight it, Ctrl plus A. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Change the font color to black. And reduce the font size. Then make sure that you align the text with the logo. Then I'm going to align it now. You can see a red line there aligned with this shape. So you can see when you look at it very well, you can see that the test with the logo is aligned straight.
right i'm going to leave it that way so now i'm going to now i'm going to draw a cycle here change the color to white then position it at the top here if you want you can apply a drop shadow then i'm going to type V here then increase the font size so over here what I'll do now right click and uh, convert it to shape then select your shape to then you can click on it then and drag it something like this now return to your shape to then create a point here, drag it this way, create a point at the back here and drag it this way. Then this one I'm going to delete it, Control plus Z, then I'll bring it this one down. So you can take time to do it very well. So for this tutorial, then I'm going to do it this way then because there is no time to do it properly. So I'm going to leave it this way. Then complete the letter words here. Increase the size. Then you position it normally. Then I'm going to change this letter to T. Alright, so it is now okay. Then increase the font size. So something like this. Now I'm going to copy the name. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change the font to white. I mean the font color. Now increase the font size. And over here, I'm going to change the font name. So here is the font I'm going to use. Like I said, I'm going to leave the name in the description. Then you can download and make use of it. And to remind you, please, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell also like it and share the video increase the size of this one use your arrow key then to move it Then I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J. 
highlight it, Ctrl plus A to highlight and Ctrl plus V to paste. Then increase the font size. Use your arrow key then to drag it up or down. Anywhere you want to move it, either up or down. So you drag it using your arrow key or you can use your mouse. Alright. Hold your shift key while you select it. Then I'm going to reduce it. Then copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then I'm going to duplicate this one. Drag it up. And bring it down. Ctrl plus V to paste. Hold your Shift key or Ctrl key while you select them. Then apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Then I'm going to draw a rectangle line. Something like this. Then change the color to this one. And I'm going to duplicate this one. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Drag it over here. Then hold your shift key then while you move it this way. Also apply the same thing to this one. So this one here, I'm going to change the color to white. Then select the two, hold your shift key while you drag it. Something like this. Then I'm going to copy this color, uh, I mean this text here. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change the color to red. And I'm going to change the font name to freehand. Then I'm going to apply stroke. So the size is 4% and the opacity is 100. Then bring it closer and position it over here. So if you are still not subscribed, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Also, I would like to remind you that if you want to order any of my flyer, then you can go to my Fiverr account then and order any flyer. Then to optimize your video, then check in the description. There is a link below. Then to click and register for your tool body and optimize your video on YouTube or any other social media. Drag this one down, then hold your shift key while you drag the rectangle. Also, arrange this one by using your arrow key. So, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. So, thank you so much. I really appreciate for your following. Remember to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you very much. So, this is the end of the tutorial.